Hey guys, welcome back to another day in this week's vlog. I've got my daily visitor, Ranger. <laughs> I swear, it's just, my is just not around long enough for me to film her, which is why I never show her. Like, she'll literally just run away. And I'm like, why are you running away? The people want to see you. But anyways, I'm on my lunch break. Don't mind me looking shiny. I'm like extra shiny but i think i might have put too much sunscreen on which is a bad thing but it's lunchtime. about to get me some food he's probably just gonna stay there bye bye hello this is what i'm going to attempt to make today Cut up tomatillos, jalapenos, serranos, and red onion. So we're gonna put these in the food processor so that we can pulse them and make a salsa. Let's turn this down just a smidgen, just a smidgen. Ooh. Hey folks, welcome back to another day in this vlog. Honestly, no idea where the last thing picked up or left off, whatever the correct phrase is, but who knows, we're here. And I just wanted to open up today with you. Hopefully you guys are great wherever you're at. Today is really exciting because well, it's not exciting, but it's just like I get to be out of the house and not just like go to the grocery store, you know? I was going to take advantage of the the Too Good To Go app. And I actually just put in an order for some bagels from Rockstar Bagels. So I'm going to go 
pick those up very soon because those are like in Austin and they close in like 45 minutes. This is not sponsored. I found this on TikTok and was like, oh, that's really interesting. Let me see. You know, let me check it out. I'm sure I've told you about it already, so I won't go into too many details. But yeah, I've got the app up here so I can, you know, kind of scroll through, see what's available. Let's put Miss Raja Kumari on pause my right quick. Okay. Hello, folks. I just donated. I've been moving so quickly today. So if I haven't popped in, it's because I've just been on the move. But I do have a moment to myself real quick. And I secured the goods from Rockstar Bagels. Look at all this. It's got just just feeling around. There has to be at least eight bagels in here. One, two, Oh my gosh. I think they gave me a dozen bagels. Y'all, I paid like $5.99 for that bag. $5.99. While I'm sitting here though, because <laughs> let me tell you, I was having such a hard time trying to figure out like where to go. And like the GPS in the car was just like not working as fast as it normally does. So things were just all sorts of crazy and whatnot. But I'm going to pick another place. But yeah, like I'll kind of when I get back home, since I'm kind of like chaotic and just kind of all over the place right now, when we get back home, I'll kind of explain a little bit more about too good to go and then we'll take it from there. So I am not going to tell you what it is that I'm going to pick. It might be Shipley's, but I'm looking through the list and I'm thinking that it might be something else. So <clears throat> I'm going to look through. I have another place to stop at to do donations. I'll go pick up the food of whatever choice that I make and then I'll see you guys back home. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm saying welcome back to you. I should be saying welcome back to me because I just got home. I'm going to sit this down and then we can kind of talk for a little bit. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit. So we are on the floor. Actually, let me take my glasses off because for one, I can see, and two, I'm at home. Um, I just wanted to like share really quickly about um, the Too Good To Go app because I kind of want to talk about it and it just seems like such a really cool app. So obviously I've got my phone here so I can just kind of give you guys an overall kind of description of what this app is all about because I'm sure I've kind of talked a little bit about it but or like may have mentioned it this week or something. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure when I'm going to start this vlog or whatever. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about it. So the Too Good To Go app is an app that allows, that kind of partners with local restaurants to, this app, it, it's a company that partners with local restaurants to um, provide, you know, surprise bags, mystery bags of items that would otherwise be left over from the end of the day, from the day. Um, and so they charge people a, you know, just a fee. To, to reserve that bag and the fee kind of ranges from like $2.99 to up to I think $8.99. At least that's what I've seen so far, just kind of based off of the restaurant and whatnot. And so you just pay that, you reserve a bag, and then it'll give you a specific pickup time of when you should go pick up your items. So when we were in the car, you saw that I had went to Rockstar Donuts and so we'll just kind of start with them first. So this is the bag, look at this in comparison to my head. There is a ton of bagels and I still haven't opened it. It's still staple. So I figured we could open this up together, just kind of rummage through really quick to see what's what's um, in here. Okay, so let me bring you guys here. Let's rummage through this bag. Like I'm not gonna pull stuff out necessarily, you know, um, but just based off of what I can see in here, it looks like it's half everything bagels and half plain. Okay, um, so that's really exciting. And mind you, these are like fresh bagels. They're not stale or anything, you know? Now, when I was in the car, I was kind of scrolling through and kind of telling you guys that 
I wasn't sure like what dessert like I was considering Shipley's because there was a Shipley's that would be close to the Goodwill that I went to when I donated some items but I would have had to wait an hour so that's the reason why I didn't pick them. So I told y'all I would surprise you and I wouldn't tell you what I ended up picking up until I got home and I'm home now. So what did I end up getting? Drum roll please. cornucopia popcorn i love popcorn so 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 much like i just love popcorn and so when i saw that this was an option on you know the list of places that i could possibly get you know these mystery bags from i knew i had to choose it because i live like two seconds not two seconds but like a couple of minutes maybe like five minutes from a shipley's and so i can get shipley donuts at any time and the trick to any kind of donut place that closes early is to go towards closing because you most likely get some extra donuts. Every time my boo and I have gotten donuts and we only get like half a dozen at a time, we've always gotten like at least three to six more donuts. And that's because I always go towards closing. So do that. But anyways, yeah, so we've got some popcorn here. And actually, so we've got this flavor. I have no idea what these flavors are. I think with these specialty popcorn places, sometimes they have seasonal flavors. So I'll look up on their website to see um, what this flavor could possibly be. But I'm gonna show you the other ones and then I will pop this one open because I'm really interested to see what it tastes like. Uh, another bag is this. This just looks like regular cheese popcorn, you know? But it could be something else, I don't know. And then this one I'm really excited about because this just looks really, really good. Cookies and cream. Like, look at that. I'm excited about this but let's break this open there's a part of me that thinks it might be green apple flavored but we'll see interesting mm, I know what it is or at least I can tell you what I think it is I think it's lime that cost me I think either $4.99 or $5.99. Okay, so then two more things that I just wanna show you. So I got the mail, which you guys were with me, and I saw that there was an Ancestry DNA kit in there, and I was like, well, I haven't ordered anything. And, and then I was like, oh, I wonder if my boo had ordered this because he told me maybe a couple months ago, maybe sometime last year, that if this ever goes on sale, that he's gonna buy one so I can do it, so I can you know do the Ancestry thing. All right, and then the last thing that I want to show you guys is what I ended up buying from the CBD place. So I feel like many of us since the beginning of the pandemic have been feeling it, right? The stress, the anxiety, the depression, all of it has just kind of been weighing down on us, right? So being able to find natural solutions to kind of help those feelings and those I don't know, just those feelings and, and those conditions kind of subside. It's honestly like a way for me to go. And um, there's nothing against like antidepressants or um, ADHD medication. But for me, I'm not really down with popping a pill as much as possible when it comes to managing my stress and anxiety. And the past couple of months, it's probably been maybe the highest that it's ever been. And so that's why I wanted to go to CBD place. I went to a place called Relive Organics CBD, I believe. And if I'm wrong, you know, I'll make sure I have everything linked down below. And I only got two things. I met the, um, I think, I'm pretty sure he's the owner of the shop. His name is Rashad, super cool, super dope uh, guy. And so I just went in there and was like, I Googled y'all last night and I wanted to check you guys out. And I really am just looking for something to kind of help with general anxiety. And he's like, okay, dope. So he um, showed me this item, which is the hemp extract tincture. And this is the box that it comes in. I like it. And it's basically just drops that you use to kind of help with your um, stress and anxiety. I'm excited to use that. And then speaking of gummies, um, he kind of sold me on these because he was talking about a client of his that uses these instead of alcohol. Let's bring the surge. You've been talking the whole time. Come here. It's 
Say hello to the vlog. Ain't nothing in here. You stay wanting to come in here. Ain't nothing in here. Although I may just leave the door open. Ain't nothing going on in here. <laughs> He's like, let me go back to my safe space. Bye. Anyways, I am going to love you and leave you here on this fine, beautiful, extremely hot, it's like 95 degrees out, Saturday afternoon. If you like the video so far, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you subscribe if you want to stick around and see what else I kind of get up to in this very boring life of mine. I am going to try some other restaurants for the Too Good To Go place. So we'll probably try some more places in future vlogs. But I hope you guys are doing well wherever you're at. And I will leave you here. Let's hang out in the comments. Tell me what you thought. Have you tried Too Good To Go? Have you tried any of these businesses out or anything like that? And these weren't like black owned businesses, although most of the people that I ran into today that gave me this stuff were black. So maybe they are, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe if you want. We can hang out in the comments and I just wanna hear what you guys think. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.